Welcome back to Tolton Pole Sports. We've got Coach Lambeau, Coach Hutch, talking some NCAA football. we got Clemson and Notre Dame tomorrow night. Clemson 8-0, no, Notre Dame 5-3. What do you think is going to happen, Coach Lambeau? I can already imagine that Clemson's just going to go off and run through it. Well, first of all, those are my two favorite teams, but not so fast. I might even be going to pick a team. I actually, you know what? To America, I won't be truthful to America because I'm the most honest person in the world that I predict the future. Clemson probably will win. So I'm probably going to go slightly 60% Clemson and 40% Notre Dame. Now it's tough because then you'd be like, oh, don't score, and all oh, they do score. But Notre Dame has a very good defense um, they're under first-year head coach Marcus Freeman, who was a defensive coordinator for Notre Dame last year and was also defensive coordinator for Cincinnati back then as well. So Marcus Freeman also played college football at Ohio State University as well. So Marcus Freeman versus Dabo Sweeney. Um, Drew Pine is the quarterback for Notre Dame. He is uh, struggling a little bit. But you also you have former Virginia running back Chris Tyree, baby. Yeah, Chris Tyree. Plays a uh, running back, and he's also a uh, kickoff returner, special teams and punt returner as well. Um, so Notre Dame has very good receivers as well. But not just that. We're going to talk about Clemson. We're going to talk about Dabo Sweeney, baby. We're going to talk about Dabo Sweeney. We're going to talk about DJ Luluke. We're going to talk about Will Shipley. I mean, we're going to talk about Cade, Cade Kubek, who might come in. I mean, he got the dub versus Syracuse. I mean, Clemson has very good offensive weapons. They're going to – Mix it up with some RPOs. They're going to throw the ball. They're going to spread Notre Dame out. Um, but is that Notre Dame? And the forecast for weather is supposed to be thunderstorming with some pouring down rain. And playing in Notre Dame is a tough environment. What happened in last last time's matchup was during COVID. Trevor Lawrence didn't play. DJ Lou Luge played and threw for 437 yards with three passing touchdowns. That game went into overtime in 2020. Just in case y'all didn't watch that. So... That's going to be the biggest matchup of the year. It's going to be at 7.30 kickoff time on NBC and Peacock. I am going to be tuning in, focus on that game. i probably wear half the days. No, I think I'm going to wear all Clemson stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to wear all Clemson stuff. Okay. So Clemson is going to take the W. Um, but as far as Notre Dame wins, I won't be pissed off. But if Clemson do lose, they might get knocked out the top four as far as the college playoff. But I'm going to take Clemson. I think it's going to be a mid-score game. I'm going to take Clemson 31-24 to over Notre Dame. Okay, I don't disagree with that as well. I mean, recently there's not been a lot of disagreeing with you as far as a lot of stuff you've been bringing out, Coach Lambeau. Uh, but at the same time, Notre Dame is notorious for some big-time upsets, some big-time games where they can take it to just about anybody that comes into their home stadium. Anytime that that happens, they're playing a home game, it could be Notre Dame's game. Anytime. So Clemson, they might, I think they're going to squeak by, uh, get to that 9 0, but I think it's going to be some hard nosed football. I think Notre Dame's going to give it to them, you know, everything they got. I mean, that puts them up in, in a good position that they can come out of that 6 and 3, 8 and 1. You know, who knows what's going to happen in the, in the realm of college football towards this, you know, the last quarter of the season that we got left coming well, here's up. The, here's the weaknesses. Now, if DJ Luluge doesn't play good, they're going to put Kay Kubek in there. That's going to be a struggle because Notre Dame is a very disciplined defense. But also, Notre Dame has issues as well. Um, they tend to, like the first game when they played Ohio State, they, they hung in there. But they're, they're, I'm, I'm just concerned for Tommy Reese as far as the play calling because sometimes he can be very concerned with the offensive coordinator. But also, Dabo Swing is going to call the plays. He's going to take over. So it's going to be good offensive football and defensive mindset. So we're going to see what happens. But both of those teams had weaknesses. I mean, if the quarterback of Clinton turns the ball a little too much, and that's a problem. Um, if Notre Dame doesn't score as much and the conservative play call, like I said, they're going to lose. But I'm taking Clinton, like I said, and it's going to be a very good game. And I can't wait for the results of Saturday night. I agree. That's like you said, Notre Dame can't have any of those three and outs. They can't. They got to put some points on the board nearly every time they touch the football, get possession. If they don't, it's definitely going, going Clemson's way. But Tolan Pole Nation, we are out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Check out those videos below, and we'll see you soon.